Ranger. horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. Any sign of them? No, Kimasabi. Them hide under cover. Maybe they're not coming this way. Well, they have to come this way, Tano. It's the only way to the border where they won't be spotted and stopped. They're somewhere in this territory. Did you see Sheriff Whalen? Him wait for you. And Simpson, the banker? Sheriff him say him make bank away too. Then let's get back to camp and I'll put on that disguise. Sheriff, I can't stay here all morning. You work by the clock in your bank, Mr. Simpson. But we can't work that way in the business of upholding law. My friends will be here. They're being very mysterious. That Indian might at least have given you a hint. Tonto says what he's supposed to, no more, no less. Hardy. Howdy, old timer. What can I do for you? You can stir your stumps and give a fellow the kind of protection you get paid to give him. Look, mister, I got 15 pokes of gold dust out there in my borough. I'd like to know who's going to keep it from falling into the hands of desperadies and road agents. Well, now, hold on. 15 pokes of gold dust. Hold back on them eyes. They're hanging on your cheeks like grapes. Yep, 15 pokes. And pretty near 32 ounces to the poke. <laughs> Come here, partner. Let him look at a couple of fellas who know where gold is and <laughs> how to find it. Don't leave it out there unguarded. A gold strike. We'll have a boom town here. <laughs> Meet the pard. <laughs> Tonto. <laughs> I should have known. Come on in. Hello, Jim. Thought if I could fool you, I could fool anyone. You sure enough fooled me if I didn't know Tonto. So I wish well. somebody'd tell me what this is all about. This is Martin Simpson. How do you do, Mr. Simpson? There's a young man under those whiskers. The man I told you about. This is Tonto, his Indian friend. Well, and the story of the gold strike? Fake, Mr. Simpson, just like my whiskers. But I don't want anyone to know it's a fake. You'll have to give me a very good reason. Well, his reasons are usually good enough. Well, what is it? What brings you to Sandstone? We're trying to smoke out a couple of murders who broke jail in Arrow City. Dimple Henshaw and Soapy Farrell. You sure don't waste any time. And they'll just come in on the stagecoach on those two this morning. Dimple Henshaw. Got that crease in his chin during a fight with me some time ago. And those murderers are in this territory? Yes, it's their only way to the border. We've got to corral them before they cross it. Well, why bother? Let them go, I say. Good riddance. No trouble, no fuss. Just forget them. You get the children they've orphaned, the widows they have made. Justice demands that these men be made to pay for their crimes. They're killers who will continue to kill on both sides of the border unless we stop them. Well, when you put it that way, I agree. I agree heartily. They should be caught. Yeah, we'll be on the lookout. And so will I, but behind the barricaded doors of my bank. But why do you want to see me? What have I got to do about this? Mr. Simpson, I want you to keep your bank open. They have guns and horses, but they need money badly. They may drop in on you at any time. You mean, you want to use me as bait? You want me to stand there in my bank and invite them in for a gunfight? Kima Sabe have good plan. Maybe they won't call on you, Simpson. They may get their funds elsewhere. I hope not, Sheriff. That's the reason for the disguise and the fake gold I'm going to deposit in your bank. Let's make it the worst kept secret in the history of gold mining. But I'm a peaceable man. But Henshaw and Farrell aren't. By the way, Sheriff, how are you fixed for help? He's not fixed. All he's got is that young deputy, Bud Titus. He spends most of his time in the barbershop getting slicked up and daydreaming. Oh, he's still got a lot to learn. That's all like anybody. He hasn't seen this handbill yet. When he does, more daydreams. I reckon the solid truth is that Bud doesn't keep his mind right proper on the job. One careless move with Henshaw and Farrell, and the penalty may be death. Oh, Bud's all right. I believe in the big kid. <laughs> Even if he is my wife's favorite nephew, we can count on him. I hope we can. Now, gentlemen, here's my plan. Whoa, gold! Yes, sir. Come on, Lester. <laughs> well, there, there, you unbelievable engine. Didn't I tell you we'd get here safe? <laughs> Trouble is, you got no faith. You don't know what it means to be my partner. Here's the Senor Bart, some people always have the luck. Me, never. Don't tell me what being an unlucky feels like. I had not any gold, any ranch, any... Senor Bart, listen. You talk too much. Everybody here. Hey, that's right. No use to start a stampede. <laughs> What's here is iron. 
Yes, sir. Come on, Lester. Into the bank. <laughs> What's going on here? You can't haul that animal into my bank. <laughs> haul him? Why, he's pumped loaded down with gold dust, mister. Out of my way. Wait, wait. I'll have a look at your gold. What? Why, sure. <laughs> have a little peek. <laughs> hey, yes, sir. Hey, that's long enough. All right, old timer. The burrow stays out, but if you want to deposit your dust, bring it into the bank. <laughs> deposit it? Oh, I'll say I'll deposit it. <laughs> In the biggest vault you get. Get that rocket. People might think there's a run on the bank. Run on the bank? I'll say there's a run on the bank. A running river of gold. <laughs> hey, yes. Come on, Injun. Lend a hand. Yes, sir. Hey, this gold is going to look pretty in that vault. Go ahead, Injun. Be right back, Lester. <laughs> yeah, that gold I do. They really got it. They sure did. You see old man Simpson's lip curl when he saw it? Looked like an old honeybee buzzing around a jam pot. Well, keeping an eye on the gold is his business, so it makes him happy, no? Oh, I don't like a man who's always got his eye on other people's money. Now, if it were his own, that'd be different. I don't mind him watching the money. He watches mine. He keeps safe. Yours too, maybe? Mine? What can I save on a deputy, sorry? Measly $50 a month. $50 a month is good money, senor Bart. Why, that's 500 shades. 500 shades? Well, I need 500 acres. Rich grassland, a nice ranch house. Be seated, senores. It will be about a few minutes. You know, I don't give 500 shades in two months. And I got three kids to support. Trouble with you is, Tony, you're afraid of everybody. You ought to be more like me. Be tough. Take a stand about things. You ought to raise your prices. You ought to get a move on. That's what he ought to do. Please, senores. I only got one barbie shop, one barbie chair, and one customer at a time. Yeah, and this customer is taking up too much of that time. Now, wait a minute. And if you'd shut up, maybe that barber could shave his ugly kisser and get him out of here. Which one of you two mavericks said that? Well, it wasn't me, but it could have been. That does it. When did you two hombres hit town? Just this minute. What's it to you, deputy? Don't listen to my partner. He's been out in the sun too long. Yeah, well, the jailhouse is nice and shady. We don't want to see it. We're just passing through town and stopped in for a cleanup. Yeah, well, keep on passing. Get. You know that tin badge don't scare me, man. I think it ought to be bent to your nose. Listen, Shut you... up, stupid. Sun really did heat you up, didn't it? Get your friend out of here quick. And if I find either of you two guys in town tonight, I'll throw you in a pokey. We're going. Don't like this burg anyhow. The only town in the southwest where they don't know us. You pick a fight with a deputy. Well, I need a shave. You're wearing them whiskers to hide a dimple. But I itch. We didn't go in there for a shave. We went in to learn of a good spot for a stick-up. We can't cross that border without some cash. You botch things right off. Well, no tin horn deputy's gonna waste my time with these jab right up. I'll take it easy. We don't start any ruckus unless there's some cash in it. That's the only spot in town to pick up chatter about money. Now we gotta keep out of that deputy's sight. I don't worry about keeping out of the deputy's sight. We will, for the time being. Let's get around to the back door and go in when he leaves. Yes, sir, senor Bart. You are one very tough hombre. This fellow looked like killers. No, oh, they were just a couple of saddle bums, Tony. Maybe so, but you are tough. Me? I don't know how to be tough. I guess it's because I'm such a little fella. <laughs> Hi, Tony. Buenos dias, senor Cherry. Buenos dias. Why weren't you at my office at the meeting, bud? You spend more fool time getting polished up. The meeting, yeah. Well, I didn't forget. I've been busy here keeping my eye on things. You know, they couldn't have flea jump in this town without me seeing them from right here in this barber shop. Maybe. I'd like you to see this. A couple of outlaws on the loose. That's what the meeting was about. Oh, I'm sorry I missed it. But you know, Sheriff, I'm always on the job. Tony, tell them about them two saddle bums that just run out of town. Oh, two bad bombers. They got whiskers like iron. Break my razor, I think. Why'd you run them out? Well, like I told you, there was... There was a couple of range tramps. What's the matter? Nothing. You look like you'd swallowed an apple without chewing it. I'm just reading about this $5,000 reward. If I had that, I could buy me a ranch. Uh, bud, 
Those two saddle bums you ran out of town, are you looking at their faces right now? Why, Sheriff, what do you think I am? Sometimes I get real curious. What about it, Tony? Were those men in here? You mean here, maybe? Don't you tell them, Tony. Either you take my word or you take my badge. No, uh, bud. No, I don't work for nobody who don't take my word. But I do take your word. I resign anyway. Now, you young pup, you're fired. Well, now, uh, now, wait a minute, bud. You can't quit. Not yet, anyway. It's too late, Uncle. Now, wait. Plans have been made about those two. I need your help. You wouldn't be figuring on capturing them, maybe. That's the whole idea. Well, they're going to be captured, OK, so don't worry. Captured by me. Alone. You. Alone. <laughs> don't be silly. You don't even know where to start looking. Well, maybe I don't, and maybe I do. Run along, Unc. You darn daydreaming young pup. Senor boss, maybe you're wrong. You just threw your job away. No job, no pay. Well, that's the whole idea, don't you see, Tony? If I bring in these two outlaws while I'm still deputy sheriff, this county don't pay me any reward. But if I'm just a private citizen, $5,000. And all I gotta do is take off after these two and bring them in. See you later, Tony. That's all he's got to do. Bring a couple of killers. All right, Barber. They kill us. Madre mia. Now, how about a shave? Si, senor. Madre mia. All right, snap it up. Si, senor. And if he draws one drop of blood out of me, blow daylight through him. Please, senores. I've got three kids. Let's talk a little, Tony. Who's the richest man in town? I don't know. Maybe Mr. Simpson over there. The army that runs that bank? Si, senor. They keep much cash in there? I don't know. I I'm just a barber. Ah, quit your kidding. Barbers know more about what's going on than anybody. What? Hey, Dimples. So, Sheriff. Come on. We're going to keep you covered from the rear. You even look like you've seen us, and your kids left a beg in the streets. Tony, where'd Bud go? Why, senor, he just left a little while ago. Didn't change his mind about his quitting. Him not say, just leave. I guess he really meant it. Good spot, huh? Plenty good. With Bud gone, you'll have to watch from here. That's all right. What, what is going to happen? Sorry to have to do this, Tony. The township will pay for any damage. Damage? I guess you heard about the heap of gold just deposited in the bank. See, si, I know. Well, we got word those two desperados I was telling Bud about are heading this way. We don't aim to be taken by surprise. Two, two desperados? Don't you worry, Tony. Maybe they'll never show up. Who you shave, huh? Brush have plenty fresh leather. You not need shave. Nobody here when we come in. See, si, it is correct. Get him up. Turn around. Well, I reckon this is the talkingest town in the Southwest. By now, everyone knows there's gold in the bank and how much. Well, let's hope that Dimple Henshaw and Farrell hear about it and come after it. Trouble I had, not telling the folks about that, but making them promise to stay off the streets if shooting starts. They did promise. Sure. No one likes to get plugged. I wonder who that is with Tony. That's Henshaw. Hold it, Sheriff. He's got the barber covered. What's Tonto doing about this? They both got their backs to him. Why doesn't he do something? It's just what I intend to find out. Sheriff, you keep the back door of the bank covered. Soapy Farrell must be around here, too. I thought I recognized 
recognize you, Redskin. You're the pal of that masked man. Who's shooting? Farrell, in the barbershop. He must have surprised Tonto. Sheriff, they've outsmarted us. Let's get him. Wait a minute. If we shoot, we might hit Tony or Tonto. We'll have to see what they do next. I don't know who's using the pop guns, Barbara. But tell your friends if any lead comes this way, you're going to get it. Chief, Chief, please, please, everybody, he's going to kill me. He'll shoot. And I've got the kids. The kids. Come on. Please. And we've got to do something. Poor Tony. Is there a back door to the barber shop? Jump in, Jupiter. I forgot. Sure there is. That must be the way the killers got in there. Cut around to the back. Keep your eye on that door. I'll keep him covered from here. Brother Henshaw? Oh, Bonanza. Yeah. Who are you shooting at? A fellow with a mask on. He's the Indian's pal. I got him pinned back in an alcove down the street there. The one that gave me this dimple? Uh-huh. I'm going to get him. I get it. We got to hightail out of here. Look who's excited. You said that masked man's out in the street. I'm going to get him. Well, let him stay there. Now that we got the gold, it's right for the border. Get out of my way. Get hold of yourself, will you, Henshaw? This is our only chance. We'll swing if they catch us. They won't swing me. Not if we play it smart, they won't. Let's take this dust and the barber to keep them from shooting at us and light out. Then we can come back when we got a plan. I got a plan. I'm taking that masked hombre alive. You're crazy. Sure. What do you want him alive for? So I can kill him. Slow. Hey, here's another ten star. Why you should keep him like this? He's a family man. I told you to shut up. Hey, you outside. You and the man. Can you hear me? This is Henshaw. Dimple Henshaw. Go ahead, Henshaw. Keep talking. Soapy Farrell and the sheriff just shot it out. They're both dead. Just how you're going to end up, Henshaw. Barbershop surrounded. Both ends of the street blocked. Come out with your hands high. I know. I'm ready to give myself up to you. He was sorry. Him try to check. Please, senor. Please don't do it, senor. Don't do it. Don't do it. Ah! Over here. I got an idea. Hencho, throw your gun into the street and come out. Now, wait a minute. I'm giving up, so I'm saying how. All right, how? What do you want? Protection. That's why I'm not walking out. Somebody out there might be trigger happy. I'll toss out my gun. You come in here and get me. You'll never do it. No? You forget I know this joker. He'd be crazy to. He'll do it, because we'll give these birds a chance. Now get out. Play dead. Come on, pal. You got my word. Here's my gun. Howdy. It's been a long time. We'll talk after you've untied my friend. Now step back, Henshaw. Get him up. That's what I wanted to see. Take his gun, Soapy. Give me that razor. Si, senor. I got a good use for razors. Get over there. I'm going to do a lot of things to you before we leave you here. Remember how I got this dimple under my whiskers? Chip off a rock when you were throwing lead my way. I'm going to carve one on you now, but slow, with a razor. Give me that gun, Soapy. Over here. Put that engine to sleep again, Soapy. Sure. With this. Lay off, Pearl. Hey, Dimples, it's Sam, isn't he? All right, get him up. Senor Bach, where have you been? 5,000 Samoleans. Maybe more. How much are you on your head? The sheriff's been hurt. 
He needs help. I see him. That's my uncle. And if he dies, I'll pull the rope that hangs you, you murdering polecat. You young pup. Put up that iron and help me. What do you mean? I got the drop on him. I've captured all four of them without firing a shot. I got a reward coming to me, $5,000. You got plenty coming to you. You won't call it any reward. Better. Tonto, you all right? Yes, Kim, it's me all right. Tony, stop the sheriff. Si, senor. What's going on here? Was this the only way to capture them? Hinshaw slugged my bookkeeper, wrecked my bank. Who's going to pay for this? But, senor Simpson, it isn't my fault. I do nothing. You did a lot, Tony. You made it possible to capture these men. Simpson, I wouldn't worry about the damage. Tony has $5,000 coming to him. Madre mia, no. I don't get this. I don't get any of it. Don't make much difference if you don't. Tie up those outlaws and lug them off to jail. But I went out looking for them. All alone. I looked all over. I was very brave of you, bud. Tony has a different kind of courage. He didn't fight for any reward. He fought to save a man who meant nothing to him. Five thousand dollars? Fifty thousand shaves? Gracias, senores. Gracias, senor. Hey, I better ask for my badge back. I'm gonna need a job. <laughs> I'll think about that. Everybody's against me. Fifty thousand shaves? Senor, wait. This senor, this senor with the mask is gone. I'll send somebody after him. That's the kind of a man you need for a deputy. I reckon he takes on bigger jobs than that, Simpson. <laughs> you see, he's the Lone Ranger. Hello, Silver! Hello! 